Hi guys, have you ever played a puzzle game where you have to guess the correct shape and color to win? If yes, then you have unknowingly applied Bayes theorem and conditional probability there. Bayes theorem is a fundamental concept in probability theory that allows us to update our beliefs about an event based on new information. Let me explain it to you using a simple example. Suppose you flip a coin and you want to find out the probability of getting heads. So the probability of getting heads is equal to the number of ways of getting heads divided by total number of outcomes. So now let's say you flip the coin multiple times and record the results. You use that data to calculate the probability of getting heads in the next flip. This is where you applied conditional probability. Conditional probability is the probability of an event occurring given that another event already occurred in the past. So let me just explain with you another example. Suppose you go to a coffee shop and you order a latte. You notice that the French is new and you want to make sure that the new French latte should have a good quality. You know that the probability of getting a good latte at this coffee shop is 80% but you also know that the French is new and there is a 30% probability that a new French will make a bad latte. So using the Bayes theorem, we can calculate the probability of getting a bad latte given that the French is new. And here is the result. As you can see, the probability of getting a bad latte from a new French is 0%. And that's it. We have covered the basics of Bayes theorem and conditional probability here. As you can see, these concepts can be incredibly useful in a wide range of fields, from medicine to finance to marketing. Now, let's put what we have learned into practice with Python example. Let's say we want to determine the probability of a person having a certain disease given that they have tested positive for it. First, we will gather some information. The first is the prevalence of the disease in the population. Let's say it is 1%. The sensitivity of the test let's say it is 95%. The specificity of the test, let's say it is 90%. So, using Bayes theorem, we can calculate the probability of a person having the disease given a test result positive. So, the formula for the conditional probability or Bayes theorem is here and where A is the event of having a disease, B is the event of testing positive. So, you, we use this, all the information we gathered, we can plug the values in this formula and we're getting a result. So the, that is the result we get, it is 8.6%. So even the test is positive, the probability of having a disease is still relatively very low or around 8.6% only. And that's how we can apply Bayes theorem and conditional probability in real world situations with the help of Python. I hope you enjoyed this video and learn something new. And make sure this Bayes theorem concept will help you more in the Bayesian networks in artificial intelligence. So make sure you learn this concept very deeply. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more exciting comment. Thank you guys.